To understand why certain software has to be used when creating various products in graphic design, it's important to understand that there are two different types of images in the graphic design world. The first being raster. Any image that was used or constructed through a dot matrix or pixels, such as photographs taken with a camera, are in fact raster images. They're assembled with little tiny points called pixels to create the color that you see when you're looking at the photograph. Vector images actually use a range of points, lines, and curves, which are actual based on mathematical expressions to pre represent the images in computer graphics. Now to us, Vector images pretty much look like regular pictures. In fact, sometimes they look like clip art with very bold lines. But to a computer, rather than seeing pixels, it sees the lines, curves, and mathematical expressions that assemble the clip art or vector images. Side by side, vector and raster images sometimes may appear to be the same. In this example, the word vector was written in vector design software when the word raster was written in raster design software. If we zoom in, they no longer look the same at all. Vector, on the left, still looks rather crystal clear on the edges, when raster, when blown up, starts to look rather pixelated. That's because the pixels are actually growing as we stretch the size, so they're becoming blocks rather than tiny dots. Vector, because they're made up of curves and equations, can actually recalculate as you scale the image, so it never loses its shape or sharpness. Vector images also really consist of an inner outline. This outline is what machines such as CNC equipment or computer numerical control equipment actually follows when producing various products. This photograph was taken using a camera and is in still in the raster format. This is the exact same photograph but vector design software converted to being a vector file format. Side by side they basically look the same. However, if we zoom in, you'll see that the raster photograph still has these pixels which are becoming blocky as we make the photograph larger than it should be. The vector image are actually made up of shapes which have various sharp curves, overlapping shapes, showing the different shading through a vector style. If we were to put this baseball photograph, the vector format, into outline mode, you'll see all the various lines and shapes that assemble this image. Now there are multiple file types that you might be working with for vector and raster. A very common one that we worked with in vector is SVG files. There's also EPS and even 3D printing model files such as STL files are technically vector files just in three dimensions. Adobe Illustrator is also a common professional grade graphic design software used in industry when working with vector files. For raster images you may have heard of JPEGs, TIFFs, or PNG files all of which are raster file formats typically made with a camera or using professional software such as Adobe Photoshop. For raster image production, typically it's something like a poster, magazines, photographs, things like that that are produced using various types of printers or offset presses. In the vector design world, images that are made from vector file types are used for really just about anything. A lot of companies make their logos out of vector images so that way it can be scaled down for websites or hats or t-shirts or scaled up to be on the side of a truck or jet fighter or something like that because vector images are so scalable. There's also various signs and things that are typically vector but there's usually a stylistic approach to them. They're not really photographs. There's always a bold line, sometimes shading and things like that. And again, on the realm of clip art or some type of artistic, uh, stylistic design here, like you can see in the sample images on the screen. And again, this is really because vector files are made up of outlines, which machines, such as CNC equipment, can follow. The CNC equipment varies, but for example, CNC routers can follow the lines to cut through wood, metals, or plastics. This is how a lot of guitars and various signs are made. Laser engravers can actually follow these lines to burn into wood, leather, and plastics for various products. And CNC plotters can use vector designs to actually go ahead and create decals, which can be used for adhesive stickers, or heat transfer vinyl cuts, which can be used to make t-shirt laminates. Now, if you want to get started with vector files, you should check out Boxy SVG, which is a free app in the Chrome Web Store that's compatible with Mac, Windows, and Chromebooks, which allows you to create high-quality vector files that can be used with any piece of vector equipment.